Good morning, Marist. Today is Friday, October 30th. I'm Spooky Sp And I'm Spooky Adelaide Neal. thought you were a jellyfish. Today we pray for St. Vincent, a Marist school in St. Lee, France. Let us take a moment and remember that we are all in the presence of a God who loves us. Offering our prayer this morning is Gaspooky Eckstein. It's that time of year again, Halloween, the spookiest holiday of them all. As humans, we've always been scared of what goes bump in the night, whether it be giant spiders, ghouls, or even Frankenstein. In reality, however, we should have no fear though, because God is always with us. With that in mind, let us pray. Dear Lord, comfort us when we are afraid. Remind us that even if we walk in the valley of darkness, we should fear no evil, because you are with us. Show us the path to your redeeming light, and lead all souls to heaven. Amen. Mary, suit of wisdom, pray for us. Thanks, Gus. Happy Halloween, everyone. So, Spooky Spencer, do you have any spooky plans this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to go spook some kids. <laughs> oh, nice. You don't even need a costume for that. Oh, well, maybe that would hurt me if I had a heart. Oh, I get it, because you're the Tin Man. Whoa, Sadie, what was your first hint? When I walked in the room and said I didn't have a heart, or when you saw me covered head to toe in silver paint? <laughs> tin Man? More like Sass Man. <laughs> now let's go to our own NBC-sponsored scary film competition produced by Alex Ramirez, Laura Tangham, and Liam Tangham. Come by the broadcast studio today to trick or treat. I mean, pick up your prizes, if you dare. Whoa, my heart stopped beating there for a second. Didn't yours? Don't rub it in. By the way, Alex, my favorite part was the close-up of your eyes. Yeah, anyways, with three weeks left in the term, you guys better make sure you get your service done soon. Don't delay. Check your email for service options from Mrs. Shanahan. Or stop by Campus Ministry anytime to look for available opportunities. Or just for a free hug. Pro tip, Mr. Vogelson's are the best. Speaking of warm hugs, when your uniform does not start next week. Correct. Instead, wearing uniforms will start the following Monday, November 9th. Don't be that person who shows up in your summer uniform. You know who you are. Did you remember to vote for senior superlatives? Oh dang nabbit, I forgot I need to do that. Well, it's too late now. In fact, Sarah Spooky Grobity is with us in the studio at this very moment to share this year's superlatives. Thanks guys. Without further ado, here are the superlatives as voted on by your senior class. Best Smile are Sarah Varala and Robert Larimore. Best Personality go to Leslie Amer and Dylan Hardigan. Most Intelligent are Ananya Malhotra and Nick Isif. Most Likely to be a Millionaire are Bonnie Masters and Will Kingsfield. Most Athletic are Dominique Odin and Will Toner. Most School Spirit go to Mary Catherine Kitchen and Connor Larkin. Wittiest goes to Molly Harrell and Charlie Daniel. Most Likely to be President of the United States are Clark Washington and Champ Sin. Most spiritual are Courtney Peters and Cole Absher. Youngest at heart are Kate Connolly and William Trainer. Most artistic are Cecilia Delmer and Andrew Fredette. Most likely to become a Marist teacher are Emma Burns and Kevin Perez. Girl BFFs are Gracie Crump, Caroline Bradley, and Kinsey Carroll. Guy BFFs are Adam Shingleton, Max Stander, and Charlie Pickell. Miss and Mr. Marist are Maggie Bonatz and Brendan Burke. Thanks, Sarah, and congrats to everyone who got one. Now we go to Meredith Lloyd and Sam Constantino with this year's edition of the NBC Scare Cam. Boo! So what are 
you going to be for Halloween this year? I'm going to be Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. And so what are your favorite type of Halloween candies? Um, I like fun size. Well, actually, no, not fun size. I like full size bars because they're the best. <laughs> so what are you guys dressing up for as Halloween? Um, either Pocahontas or Rosie the River. Um, probably a mouse tong. <laughs> and what are your favorite kinds of Halloween candy? I like the sour patch straws things that kind of like individual patches. Uh, I don't believe in Halloween candy. It's just unhealthy <laughs> and just... So what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween? We're being vampires. <laughs> and what's your favorite kind of Halloween candy? Snickers. Kit Kat. And what are your plans for Halloween this year? Uh, we're just gonna kind of like walk around and go to a party. <laughs> What are you dressing up for as Halloween? Elsa. Elsa, nice. And what's your favorite Halloween candy? Fun dip. And what are your plans for Halloween this year? Um, I'm just going to go trick-or-treating with my family. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Twix. <laughs> um, candy corn. And what are you guys dressing up for as Halloween? I don't know. A fairy. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you guys doing for Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you good? You filming? <laughs> so what are you guys dressing up for Halloween? I'm not dressing up as anything. I'm going to my friend's birthday party. That's fun. What about you? Uh, I have two costumes. I'm going to be a disco diva tomorrow, or today, I mean. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, I'm going to be a ballerina. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You sure spooked me. And seniors, do not forget to turn in your senior quote by 11.59 tonight. If you don't, you will automatically be given the mayor's mission statement as your quote. Sweetness. Congratulations to those students inducted last night into the Language Honor Societies. Muy bueno. Buen trabajo. Good gemacht. Bene. Keeping up with these good vibes, remember that there's no school this Monday. Except teachers, you have to report to the GISA conference at Mount Pisgah. Have fun with that. It's not a joke. <laughs> That's right, Steven. But if you're looking for jokes, here's Leela King with this week's edition of Realish News. Hey everyone, I'm Leela King and welcome to this week's edition of Realish News. An Australian chicken restaurant has a real chicken live tweeting from their company Twitter, always including the hashtag chicken tweet. It looks like the cows of Chick-fil-A better step up their game. A lake in India has unexplainably bubbled into a giant cloud of foam and spilled over into the streets of Bangalore. The only explanation? Netherworld has taken its infamous foam room global. A Florida man has been charged with fraud and theft for stealing four million pounds of citrus. Just this past week, he stole half a million dollars of citrus fruit. Orange, you glad he didn't steal banana? An intoxicated Walking Dead fan has brutally killed his friend who he mistook for a zombie after he jokingly tried to bite him. Going that far to reenact a TV show takes some real dead vacation. Every day is Halloween in a town in Florida where people go to talk to the dead. The psychic capital of the world is a place where you can literally see dead people. Well, Maris, it's been real. Or should I say, real-ish. Until next week, I'm Leela King, and this has been Realish News. Thanks, Leela. That was very real-ish. But if you want some real news, be sure to pick up a copy of the blue and gold from your homeroom right now. Don't wait. There's a new never-before-seen section on page 7. And if that's not convincing enough, Stephen's on the front page. Aw, shucks. It's been a busy week for Marist Athletics. That's right, Sadie. At the Cross Country Regional Championship on Wednesday, the boys and girls team both placed first, with Frank Pittman placing first with a time of 16.44. And congratulations on committing to Georgia Tech. Keep it up, runners. Remember that state is November 7th. Get ready. Also, a huge shout out to our girls volleyball team for making it to the state semifinals and for such an incredible season. I speak for the entire school when I say we are all so proud of y'all. And with that, we turn it over to our sports crew for this week's War Eagle of the Week. Check it out.
This week's Warg of the Week has performed in every Marish and Alday since 7th grade. He writes rap beats with his brother and this one time at band camp. The Warg of the Week this week is John McLean. Now we go to Cole with our Warg of the Week. Thanks, Cole. So, John, how did the band do this year? The band had an amazing season. We won over 27 trophies. It was a really great year. 27 is way more than two. How do you prepare before every game? Usually a uh, pretty vigorous workout routine. I'll have a drum circle with Zach Brown, Kristoff, possibly Connor Wong. That explains how you're so in shape. How did you earn the prestigious title of drum major? Drum major is a vote within the band members. They get 49% of the vote. Craddock and Mr. Schmidt kind of have an override, 51% of the vote. Um, it's a pretty big audition, and the drum majors from the past 10 years or so will come in and get a vote also. That sounds like it's not a true democracy, in my opinion. And what's the most fun song that you're planning on playing before the season's over? We're hoping to do a uh, Hotline Bling. I'm writing it right now. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll have it on the field by the Shambly game. Sounds like nothing's going to be the same. Thanks for being our Word of the Week. Thanks for having me. Thanks, we out. We that's, out. Some, <laughs> that's some talent right there. Yeah, Sadie, you wish you could do this. Ah, nice. You wish you were cool enough not to wear socks. Well, lucky for me, I'm going to get the chance to do that. Next Wednesday's all school mass. Right on. Everyone, please remember to refrain from wearing socks with your shoes that day. Uncomfortable enough for you? Good. That's the idea. Also, each student is asked to bring a package of new adult-sized socks that will be donated to people in homeless shelters. This is a chance for us to go beyond ourselves. Birthday blessings today go out to Lawrence Harris and Emily Kieswellick. On Halloween Day, a very spooky birthday to Mr. Beebe, Will Kingsfield, Sophia Fritula, and NBC's very own Kinsey Harvey. And on Sunday, Caroline Bradley, Mrs. Figuera, John NBC Hammer Time, Mrs. Heldreth, William Hudak, Mrs. Justice, Mrs. Lawrence, and Caroline Williamson. For NBC, she's a jellyfish. And he's the Tin Man. Make it a great day, Marist.